Hello, it's time for You Need to Know on Live Score, the show that highlights the players, teams, storylines we all need to be talking about. And we've decided that it's time to talk about a man who has lit up San Sebastian this season in the blue and white of La Real, Alexander Izak. As of the rumour mill so far this summer, I can tell you that Barcelona, Real Madrid, Chelsea, Manchester United and Liverpool have all already been linked with him and we're weeks away from the window opening. He's only 21 years of age, Sam, but already his career has really taken on a couple of twists and turns. Yeah, what a list of clubs that is. And uh, he's already had his fair few experiences. I'll give you that. He shot to prominence in around 2016-17, made his professional debut age 16 for Swedish club AIK, immediately dubbed the next Latan, as is the world, presumably just based on the fact that he's Swedish, though, because he actually played almost nothing like him. Yes, he's skillful, but at the time of coming through, he definitely reminded me of like a Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang style player because he was quite tall, but absolutely rapid. So he had the same frame as Aubameyang, very quick. And he also had that nose for a great chance, good position in the box and finished extremely confidently. Now Dortmund, well, lots of clubs, but Dortmund in particular saw this kind of raw talent and thought, yeah, let's have some of that and signed him up. And I wasn't surprised at all. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting you say that he looked like Alba there because... Dortmund actually had Aubameyang on the books at the time of Isaac signing. It didn't really work out for him in Germany, but that was also probably some smart forward planning in action. And anyway, he was out of Germany before he'd even turned 20. He'd signed for the Sociedad in 2019. And from there, he has really blossomed. Yeah, he has done. I mean, he still looks a little bit like Aubameyang at times because of that frame and that speed. But I think he's actually developed into a more aggressive and more rounded and basically more physical player, to be honest with you. And I think he does actually combine some really excellent physical traits. Now he's got the strength, he's got the speed, he'll run in behind, he'll tussle with defenders. He works very, very hard off the ball. He's an aggressive and impressive presser. And he always manages to find really good shot locations in the center, in the box. You look at those shot maps that he's got. He's taking shots from really, really good positions. In fact, I'd say that nowadays, he probably resembles something of a maybe like a Tammy Abraham or maybe even like a less uh, robust and less physical Dominic Calvert-Lewin. He has some old school target elements, so target man elements, but really he wants to run in behind. He wants to be aggressive, wants to press, but he has that two-way ability, which is what a lot of these modern forwards now have. Yeah, I mean, I feel like perhaps this type of striker is on the rise. He's not quite as physical as maybe an Erling Haaland or a Dusan Vlavic. But I think he shares certain elements of his game with both of them, but also maybe even more so with championship top scorer Ivan Toni, West Ham United's man for all seasons, Mikhail Antonio, both of whom obviously incredibly highly regarded in the English game. Yep. There's a little bit of Andre Silva has this kind of all round. Who He's had a re-energizing year at Frankfurt. He's a little bit less mobile perhaps than yeah, Alexander yeah. Izak. But Yusuf Ben Nasiri at Sevilla, I think is, is probably a reasonable comparison and, and maybe even in Yaki Williams at Athletic Club. And you can lump all all of these into that highly desired conversation, right? <laughs> We're putting Alex Isaac in a very similar space. And perhaps this is the era of versatility, right? Of combining all the elements you traditionally associate with tricky wingers, pure number nines, even bits of your deceptive, clever number 10. Obviously we're seeing a rise of wide forwards scoring more goals than perhaps your central player uh, at the moment. And therefore maybe it's no shock that players who can do a bit of everything are in demand. When you, Add this to the fact that there's a fair few clubs who need strikers this summer. Dynasty's ending, record breakers coming to their twilight years, everybody trying to get ahead of the curve for the next era. It all makes quite a lot of sense. It's a bit of a banker in some ways. And interesting, something I was thinking about was that all rounders are perhaps likely to work with numerous coaching setups in Mm. a time where managerial lifespans seem to be getting shorter and shorter uh, as we go along. Yeah, with Isak's profile and skill set and size and athleticism, like there really just like aren't many coaches out there that aren't going to get a use out of this player. And you take a look at those goal score statistics as well. 13 goals from 15 starts on his loan in the Eredivisie, nine goals from 14 starts in his first season in La Liga with Real Sociedad, and 16 goals in 29 starts as we speak now. He's an absolute goal machine. So in addition to the fact that his physical profile, his skill set is so well-rounded, which coach is not going to want a piece of Isak? Look how prolific he is. 
Yeah, I mean, it's absolutely no surprise that he's on a number of shortlists for the summer. As you say, you know, not just the profile, but also the fact that the numbers completely back it up. He is a goal machine. So he should be on those shortlists. And it's something that we're going to be keeping an eye on as we hurtle towards transfer season. Thanks for watching. You need to know on Live Score. We'll see you soon.